Hey, what's going on? Another lens review. This is the Pentax 40 to 80 millimeter f 2.8 to f4. Yeah, that does sound odd, doesn't it? 40 millimeter to 80 millimeter. I'm not really sure went went through uh, Pentax's head when they were making this lens because I don't know of another manufacturer that's made a lens with that focal range. And it's kind of weird because 40, you know, is kind of like a standard lens, close to 50, um, and then it just not very uh, big of uh, focal range in there to 80, which is like, you know, just a little bit tall photo. So uh, like a typical um, kit lens would be like a 28 to 80 or 28 to 70. This one's a 28 to 80. So um, yeah, I'm not sure why they did that. Maybe they were trying to get that F 2.8 in there and they decided they could do that at, at um, 40 millimeters because most of the kit lenses, they, they're 28, but they're at F 3.5 or F 4 to start out. So let's put this lens on the camera. I'm using my K70 to, to record this, so I'll just put it on this film camera so you can kind of get the, the feeling of size there. And I, like all Pentax lenses, these vintage lenses are um, very nice, constructed, very solid. This one has a little bit of weight to it. Um, focus ring is smooth. And I'll get you a picture here of the front so you can see it is, it is the the dash M, so it's totally manual, uh, manually, uh, you'll have to shoot manually and all that stuff, so the, the your aperture and everything, and focus and everything will have to be adjusted on your camera. I'm going to show you uh, this feature that's on some other uh, cameras, but this this one is how this works. This is a macro feature that's on here. It's not true macro to put macro, but all it does is it allows you to get a little bit closer. The closest focusing distance on this is like pretty far away it's actually four feet which isn't that good but um, when you're up at 80 you can just kind of push it over here that clicks over that into that macro mode and then from there you can pull it up and down so the uh, the macro ratio on this is one one four um, so the true macro ratio is one to one so um, when you're up there you could get uh, closest focus and distance is uh, 0.37 can you see that 0.37 meters so you get a little bit uh, closer focusing at 80 if you want to switch it in that mode oh yeah so if you're if you've got it out like this just notice you can't turn it so this is how you operate it you can't turn it so you have to make sure it's closed down and then it will click out so don't try to ever force a lens so um, so it does have that f 2.8 at 40 which is nice but at at four feet away, um, I, I wish it would have been a little bit closer so you could get, you know, a little bit more shallow depth of field, field and get the, some more uh, blown out backgrounds with this thing. But anyway, it's a nice lens. It takes some great pictures. I had a lot of fun using it. I recommend it. Uh, you can get it for about $30 on eBay. Actually, I've got two of these and I'm um, selling them right now on my eBay store. I'll leave a link to my eBay store in the uh Below in the description so you can just click on that if you want it and uh, on the left hand side of my store there's a uh, category that says camera and photo just click on that and it will show you everything I have for sale in that category um, so yeah let's look at some pictures these are all straight out of camera JPEGs and uh, neutral, neutral picture style Auto white balance. Um, there was some snow the other day, which is odd uh, here in Tennessee for it to uh, snow in November, especially the first part of November. So it was kind of a treat to get out there. Uh, took some pictures at work. Um, the lighting was really cool because um, I had it in auto white balance, so it gives it kind of uh, with the overcast and kind of snow and stuff. You'll see in the pictures here. It gives this uh, blue kind of calmness to uh, all the shots. But um, notice there's a little bit of uh, some purple fringing and stuff it's not very good on that and while i'm talking about that and i'll show you this other lens i would recommend this lens over this this crappy kit lens this is one of the bad lenses that they made i mean the, the image quality and too bad with this but, but uh just the construction on this really sucks this is the uh, and every one of these lenses will be like this this particular model this is the uh, tachymar a zoom 28 to 80 f 3.5 up to 4 see that all they all, all of them every single one I've gotten has that lens creep and it's just super loose everything on this thing so stay away from this lens 
I, I feel bad even selling this to somebody on eBay because it's just it's just horrible to use. I mean, picture quality it's okay, but it's just it's a horrible lens. So if you're looking for a cheap lens, this one's like thirty bucks and it's fun to fun to use. So uh, go ahead there and buy that. I'll be having some uh, other real quick before I show you pictures. Some other reviews coming up. I'll be doing a lot of vintage uh, glass reviews. Uh, 200 millimeter f4, and then I've got a 50 millimeter uh, macro lens f4, and then a 24 millimeter f2.8 coming up. So make sure to subscribe. You hit that little bell there, bell icon, and we'll get notifications when I post videos. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check out these pictures. Really cool snowy stuff going on. Hopefully. Uh, we'll get some more snow soon. I like taking pictures in the snow. Don't get too much snow here in Tennessee usually, but um, yeah, it's beautiful. I'm going to go outside and take some pictures with these lenses. Thanks for watching. It is the 40 millimeter to 80 millimeter.